We chased catfish today, caught some nice cold water cats, you know, through the ice. The blast, if you haven't tried them, and they're phenomenal on the table. This is about a two pounder. This is about the perfect eating size. You can see it's still lively after sitting in a bucket, that bucket, all the way home, hour and a half drive. So a lot of times they don't want to lay flat. You can see, well, this one does halfway decent, but sometimes they don't want to put these side down. That's why I got these snippers. You just cut them right off. They lay down flat then. This one seems to be cooperating, so we'll cut this one up first. So you can see there now he's all of a sudden, oh, he doesn't want to do it. So let me show you how we do this. You can feel, you can hear that. It's kind of hard. You kind of find a spot right behind that. And then you slice, slice right down that cage, rib cage. You can hear it pop. And then just like a walleye, you're going to turn and you're going to flay that entire side of meat off all the way down past the tail. You can see when I flip that over, I got a nice big chunk of meat. We'll do the other side quick and then we'll show you how we cut that mud line out. Same thing, if you start cutting up here, you're not cutting, it's too hard. You gotta get back down in here, slice at an angle, cut through all the way down to that back plate and you're gonna slide a little juicy one all the way down. All the way down through that tail just like so flip that piece over there you go now i discard this piece in the trash now let me show you here a couple things i like to clean up in these fillets got a nice clean fillet here i make sure there's no hard bones in here i missed one little chunk so all you're gonna do is go through take this piece off slices off nice and easy discard that chunk now i'm talking all meat so this is a piece where a lot of people forget. You fillet it just like you would a walleye. Now remember, there's no scales here, so this is gonna fillet. You wanna keep, make sure your knife is always pointed forward, but put enough pressure down to get that skin. If you push down at an angle like this, you're gonna cut right through that skin into your fillet board. And then you've got a problem on your hands because that's a hard piece to get off. So I'm going right through, all the way down. Just take your time, no sense in hurrying, go all the way through there. Now you can see this is all that's left here, it's just the skin. Obviously you're gonna discard that. Some guys like to cook it just like this. Me, to get that muddy flavor out, in the winter time it's not as bad. I'll dress it a little better here, get some of this meat off, take that chunk off. Now I got a nice clean filet. Me, I like to take this center strip out. You can see there's a center strip right along here. That's called the mud vein or the blood vein. I literally just poke my knife right next to it, all the way down to the board. You can see, you hear that? Now watch. Just like it zippers right off. Now this, catfish finger. This is what you eat. Now this goes into the bucket of water. Boom, same thing, I take this piece, follow that mud vein all the way down to the end, and now I'm taking the center piece out. You can see that whole piece comes right off. This, you just discard. If it's gonna be kind of gamey tasting, muddy tasting, that's the piece that's gonna do it, or that red belly meat. But we already got that red belly meat off, you can see, nice clean filet, catfish fingers. Cut that in half, you deep fry that in some Cajun. So it's that easy, so I'm getting two strips off of each one. Now you can see this one here, when I came down behind the head, I got some of this gunky meat. All I'm doing here is just taking this off. Just clean it up. Take the time now to do it. Do it right when you're cleaning it here. It only takes a second. Take some of that gunky, chunky meat off. Same thing with this side belly meat. I just take some of that off and away we go. Then again, I'm going back down. You can see there's some dark meat here. Just take the time some of that off and you can see here there must have been a vein or something exposed what i do because it's me and i'm going to eat this i'll just lob this whole chunk off forfeit that to the fish gods again reach right down again you don't want to push down too hard you're going to cut through that skin you can see the skin right there you're just going to slide your knife flat against the table keep pointing forward and it goes right along that skin and you want to make sure you continue to point at that forward direction otherwise Catch the skin again, floppy skin, nothing left in there. Flip it over, 
You can see that line right here. I'm going to cut right along the edge of that, nice and clean. There's that just zippers right off, just like that. There's your catfish chunk. Same thing on this side. Go right down, pull that center piece out. That's trash. There you go. We got four big catfish fingers off a two pound cat. One down, more to go. It's that simple for cleaning cats. Get out there, try them, they taste wonderful. We're gonna batter these up in occasion, batter and chow down tomorrow before the Super Bowl.